So it is lunchtime and we have to stay here for two hours. So I just wanted to say thank you to the people who donated snacks and food to us. Right now I am enjoying your uh, cup of noodles lime with shrimp. I'd never had that before so it's actually very tasty. Thank you very much. And Jade is enjoying the um, cup of noodles macaroni and cheese. So again you're supporting us. You've always supported us and we really appreciate it. It is day two. Um, she slept well last night, but um, woke up this morning with a tummy ache and leg pain. Um, you know, we we're hoping for you know a, a very smooth transition, but it looks like we're gonna fight on this one. And we're, you know, she's doing a good job. She's remembering her medicine. She remembers before my alarm goes off, and so I'm really proud of her for that. Um, you know, uh, so that she gets her second dose of Kempath today. But she is able to sleep so that's that's wonderful um you know so just keep us in your prayers uh, also too uh, you know we're blessed to have the bus uh, there is some transitions uh, that i have to make as far as just um because it is so small and we have to keep it so clean just get into a routine of when to clean where is she, you know, how to do it, that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I have to make sure you can hear me. But, uh, it, you know, it's doable. We're getting it done. And, uh, you know, as a caretaker, you just, you make it work, right? So last night at 1230, after I'd given her 1230 meds, uh, since I was already up, I went and scrubbed the front of the bus and the bathroom. So there you go. Anyway, um, just keep us in your prayers and I will talk to you soon. So I hope you all can hear me. I just left pharmacy and they said that one of the medicines, one of the most important medicines that she has to take the insurance is denying because they say that it's not on their insurance plan and so the team here is really working very hard to get the insurance to allow this medicine as a caregiver you just you feel helpless because you can't I mean they're the insurance company you you know, luckily, you'll have a team of people that understand how to work with the insurance company to hopefully get them to approve the medicine. Because I don't even want to imagine how much out of pocket that would cost for me. On a side note, after I was done going to get the medication, or trying to at least, um, on the way, Jade said, Mom, can you get me some chocolate cake? <coughs> okay, Mom's going to do that. So we went down to the cafeteria to pick up some cake. And to be perfectly honest, this is a very expensive process. And so every single dime is so important. So I want to check my bank account. I'm sorry. So I want to uh, check my bank account. Just to see, see what I had in there. Uh, and someone had donated $500. Just put it right in my account. I'm trying not to cry. I'm trying to keep it together. But that may be the very money that we need to help support the medicine that they may deny. So to whoever donated that $500, I understand that. We really appreciate it. Thank you so very much.
show you the absolute love that we have received from people. So I climbed under the bus and took out all the food and put it away in the kitchen that my husband had bought me. And so once I was able to do that, I was able to now go to the car for donations from my family. Um, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all the snacks that, you know, we requested snacks for Miss Jade and Miss Jade got snacks. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She did. And then I have to go through the whole back seat of this car is just full of um, hospital supplies. <sighs> so I hope you can hear me. I don't want to talk too loud because Jade is asleep and she has had a very rough day. Um, this is the Six day, six day past uh, uh, into chemotherapy, and it's really starting to affect her. Uh, very weak, um, not sleepy, just weak. Uh, her belly's hurting her, um, and her back is hurting her. So, um, but she's she's doing okay. She's a trooper. Um, so, I, I, I wanted to touch base with people who are caregivers. That, like, I take my strength from her, but she needs my strength too. So, you know, there's a happy medium between her comfort um, and making her comfortable. And then me being comfortable enough to, like, sustain being a caregiver you know so things like you know I sleep better in the cold she does not you know how do you do that when you have one room and one bed to share um you go get another blanket so my husband drove back up and 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 in the, the second wave of him driving up he, he washed the blanket and brought it up specific for her so now she has two blankets I have one blanket you know that's those sort of things um It's, it's interesting when you, what you can do if you have no choice, right? Uh, don't judge the hair, like seriously. I, I could put on makeup and do my hair and change my clothes, or you can get videos. <laughs> That's what you can do. <laughs> so, uh, I'll dress up for weddings <laughs> at this point. <laughs> So that's where we are. Yeah, that, that's where we are. I want to talk a little bit about uh, just some of the things that we have to do that you do easily in a house. Okay, so let's talk some housekeeping while she's resting. Okay, so how do we shower on a school bus that's been turned into an RV? Well, uh, it takes a little work to do, but it's doable. So what we did was we turned the front of the bus into a bathroom shower area. And so the bathroom is a simple camp, or the, the toilet is a simple camp toilet. It's the easiest to clean believe it or not um, and to keep clean uh, the shower um, is basically a doggy pool that you set on the floor um, we have shower curtains you've seen you've seen the videos of the shower curtains and how they it goes around um, we have a, a heater and a shower uh, nozzle that um, that heats up and you take a shower. You take a shower, wet yourself up, soap yourself up, rinse yourself off. You know, it gets the job done. Uh, for her, uh, 
you know, she's a very private person, but yesterday she was too weak and she asked me to help her. Um, you know, there may be get there may get to a point where she has to sit down and take a shower, and that's okay. Uh, but the the cab of the bus works great as a bathroom and a shower, and it's super easy to keep clean. Um, so it's working out okay. And the dashboard is the um, like a linen closet, so it works out surprisingly well, actually. Well, I wanted to share our adventure with you all and how we're making this work again um we are fortunate that our insurance is paying for all but sixteen thousand or so of her treatment um but they don't pay for housing so we had a bus we revamped it made it into uh, an rv so this is just a part of the um, rv shower so you see that the, the the brown curtains to keep the heat and everything out. The white curtains um, are part of the shower. Uh, so we turn the cab into the bathroom. See if I can get you some some more light here. I don't know if I can. Um, but we just use a simple camp toilet, as you can see. And um, then we put a, we remove the camp toilet when we want to take a shower, and we put uh, a, a doggy pool in the bottom. And then we use um, just a shower, our shower heater. All right, and here's our shower um, hose, and it produces wonderful shower for us with hot water. And the cat, the um, the dashboard. My husband made a um, just a simple dashboard uh, countertop for the dashboard, and it's just half storage. Um, it works out great. And we also behind the magic curtain here. Like I said, it's kind of dark, I'm sorry, but we have um, our basin where we wash our hands, and um, then we have our washer and dryer, actually. Uh, this is a washer spinner, and I actually have a dryer that I use outside, uh, and this is where we house our dirty clothes. Um, my husband is in charge of picking up the dirty clothes for the most part, but we, the washer and dryer works out great uh, if like there's an emergency. Okay, I want to uh, give you a brief overview before I get in the bed of where we sleep. Um, and so again, in the short bus, you've got three sections. The front is the bathroom, laundry room, shower. The middle is the setting room and the kitchen. Um, and the back is the bedroom, closet, and microwave. Oh, and entertainment section. So, Miss Jade is feeling so much better today. She got out of bed so I could straighten it up a little bit. And um, you can see like that little kitty box is my nightstand table and what it's standing on. Um, our two chairs that we can use to take outside. We have a matching table behind the love seats here that we can go outside when we're feeling good. Um, she's got an air purifier in the back. Um, she's got um, a carbon monoxide and carcinogen detector, which did go off because I sprayed the bathroom curtains with aerosol instead of the pump like I usually do, which set the alarm off so we know not to use the aerosol anymore. Um, over here you can see she has her closet that she shares with me and her snack area on top of what is the handicap hitch. So if we ever need to use that, we can move all that down and the handicap hitch still works. We kept it there purposely for that. Um, I do have a printer that can be hooked up if necessary for work with a CD player uh, if we need to. Uh, we have a little catch it hanging uh, deal for our just scissors and markers 
And then on the top right here, uh, we kind of made a little mini pantry area for quick snacks. And then I moved snacks that Jade might want to the top and her cereal. And um, we'll just try to put things where she can grab them easier. So there you are. That is just a little snippet of where we sleep and God love each one of us and we're learning to share the bed, <laughs> sort of. Okay, so I just wanted to show you all around the bus. Um, it is always a work in progress as we utilize more food sources or more um, items, you know, it'll thin out a little bit more, but it actually is very functional. Um, it is not what I would call easy, but it's not terribly hard either. It just is what it is. You know, if you want to shower, you're going to get up and you're going to set the shower up. In, in a regular home, you just go and you just get in the shower in this one there's some thought process behind it you know including how do you even dump the shower well you have to set the hose up and you have to put the sump pump in the shower after you're done you have to make sure it's hooked to the gray tank um you have to you, so it's it's a 15 minute process just to clean the shower the setup and the cleaning the shower add you know another you know maybe 20 minutes or so um to just being able to take one and we're very thankful that for that or um you know cooking you, you go in the kitchen you got your stove right but no you go in the kitchen if you need a stove you take out the camp stove you set it up or you microwave something or you you know you just you just get it you get it ready then you use it then you immediately clean it up then you immediately eat then you immediately clean up after that you know it's like it's it's not too too far off from home other than it's just the, the put together and the takedown that's different so um i think we're gonna end this video here today uh i have about an hour to go before i have to uh, cook her something or make her something um at uh, 12 o'clock so she can take her uh, 12 30 meds so i'm just gonna stay up and i don't know read a book or something uh, until then and then go to sleep after I do my one one o'clock in the morning bathroom cleanup which I actually already did for this video so anyway I might just get to go to sleep early alrighty guys you be blessed uh, keep us in your prayers things are going well because she's a trooper life is different but life is good we'll see you next video